okay so in this video we'll be talking about unit conversions no we're in unit conversion we will be focusing mainly on converting uh, different linear units no from one unit to another okay so now as a little recap no? okay so we have length no length is the distance between two points and we are and if we are going to convert no or to measure no to measure the length it is called linear uh, measurement or linear mensuration okay so the very first thing to do for us is to convert uh, the different units of the english system okay yes a uh, recap this will be the english system no we have discussed this on our previous video so we have 12 inches is equal to one foot no the plural for foot is feet one yard is equals to three feet and also one yard is equals to 36 inches okay so in order to convert one unit to another is first we need to we need to write no write the unit no for example we have one no one yard no then you are going to convert this one into inches no so we need to write here the given one yard then we will multiply that one with a fraction no a fraction then the fraction the uh, denominator that is the number below the fraction the unit for that must be in yards no going back to our uh, table no as we can see the one that is um directly no directly having the unit for yards and inches no? because we are going to convert that one in inches is one yard is equal to 36 inches so what we are going to do is to put the yard here then we will write the 36 inches on the numerator or the number above no so what will happen is we could cancel the yard no we could cancel that one and we will end up only with a unit of inches so that will be one times 36 then the unit will be inches and this will be equal to 36 inches so that is how we are going to convert no units no by method of ca the cancellation of units okay what is the next thing to do now is to have some examples no okay so we need to convert 36 inches to feet no so we have 36 inches to feet no so solution okay so if you're going back to our table here no to our conversion so we have here we could say that 12 inches is equal to one foot so the unit involves inches and one foot and foot or feet so we could say that 12 inches is equals to one feet or one foot okay so what we are going to do is to write the given so that is 36 inches then we will multiply that one with a fraction okay fraction wherein the inches is below so as we can see from our um, equality here we have 12 inches then this will be one foot so we could now cancel our foot our inches no canceling the inches so we're left with 36 times 1 that will be 36 times 1 feet over so the number that is below is only 12 no 12 okay so we will have 36 times 1 that is 36 over 12 times feet no so 36 divided by 12 that will be equal to 3 feet no this now will be our answer okay so if you are wondering for this one what is this one so this is what we called as the conversion factor no? the purpose of the conversion factor is to convert a unit uh, uh, to convert a certain unit to another unit so we so the very first thing to do on looking or on making the conversion factor is that is that you must put the unit that is given on the denominator of your conversion factor so that it could be cancelled out 
and the conversion factor will be derived from the relationship between the equivalent of that given unit so like with this one 12 inches is to one foot so we uh, we we choose this one from this table here okay. from this table here because the given no, is inches and we need to convert that one to feet so that's why we choose uh, equivalent uh, uh, equivalency wherein uh, it involved inches and feet okay next we have convert 39 yards to inches okay so solution so we need to go back to our table no so you have one yard is equal to 36 inches because we are involved with yards and inches so we could say this one one yard is equal to 36 inches no okay so we need to write our given no 39 yards is uh, no that would be multiplied okay so that so multiplied by a number or a fraction so our yard will be below so that will be one yard you just copy the 36 inches above so we could cancel out now our yard so we will, we will end up with 36 times 39 okay, we could have that one over one but of course any number divided by one is equal to the number itself no this will be inches okay so using your calculator so you have 36 times 9 okay the answer for that one maybe i will pull up here my calculator also okay we have 36 36 times 39 so this will be equal to 1404 okay so we have 1404 inches and this is now our answer for this example okay let's proceed to another example no so we have here convert 12 and one half feet to yards okay so we will write here again our solution okay so 12 and one half feet so we'll go back to the table so uh, we will be involving with feet and yards so we could say that one yard one yard is equal to three feet no? or three uh, ft for a shortcut for that one so we just copy here the given okay so we have 12 and one half feet Okay, feet. We multiply that one by a conversion factor in which our feet is below or in the denominator. So that is 3 feet. Then the, the yard will be above. So that's why we will end up with yards. No? Uh, so now what will happen is we are going to cancel the feet. So we will end up with 12 and 1 half times 1 yard over three so you in your calculator you you uh, you will not input the yard no? you just input the number so no need to import the unit no okay so we go with our calculator so we have 12 we will show to you also our calculator no? maybe where is the calculator here okay. okay maybe we should um have that one in focus no so you could also see how it is being calculated okay so we have we have now 30 no that is not 30 but 12 no 12 so 12 point so 12 and one half no? so 12 and one half so for no that is one two 12 and 1 half okay and that will be divided by 3 so just put the parentheses in order for the calculator just to make sure that the calculate the calculator will interpret your input as 12 and 1 half no divide 3 okay then we will have that will be 4 and 1 6 no so your answer will be 
it's go back to the screen no? okay so your answer will be four and one sixth yard okay so usually in the initial system so uh, we we are not uh, we will not be required to convert the fraction into decimal so usually the the fractional units are for the English system uh, the fractional number are for the English system and for the metric system it will be the uh, the decimal number okay next we will go now to the metric system so this, this will be the metric system so we have 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter then 10 centimeter is equal to 1 decimeter 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter and 10 decimeter is equals to 1 meter then an additional for that one is we have um, 1000 millimeter is equal to happen to my pen no? it's going up no? it's equal to one meter so that is an additional okay so we know how to convert now by using the conversion factor from the previous example so the process will be the same so without far, without much further ado now go directly to the example okay so we have here our first example let me remove this one first so convert 30 centimeter into meters okay so we just have our solution okay so we need to go back this one so we, we, we the units involved are centimeters and meters so from this one we need to copy the centimeter and meter equi equivalency here we have 100 centimeter is to one meter okay so we have 100 centimeter is to one meter then we just copy the given so we have 30 centimeter then that will be multiplied by so again the unit below will be the centimeter because uh, that is the given unit no and 100 then one meter okay this will be cancelled so you will end up with 30 over 100 no 30 times 1 over 100 then the unit will be meters no? so you will have here 30 over 100 meters or using your calculator we will show you again the calculator here okay so that will be 30 over 100 this will be equal to we have that one in decimal because we are now metric that will be 0 0.3 okay so that will be 0 0.3 okay so our answer will be equal to 0 0.3 meters okay next let's proceed no need to convert 610 millimeters into centimeters okay so we have here the solution okay so we have from our uh, table here we will have millimeter and centimeters so we have 10 millimeter okay 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter okay copy our given so we have 610 millimeter times so the unit below will be the millimeter then we have 10 millimeter this is one centimeter cancel out our millimeter so we'll end up with 610 times 1 all over 10 centimeter okay so we will now go with our calculator okay so we have 610 divided by 10 okay that will be equal to 61 okay so our answer will be equal to 61 centimeter okay next now we have the next one so we need to convert 5.1 meters into millimeters okay so we have solution 
Okay. So for this one, I wrote the exact no? spelling for solution. Or you could also write that one as this one. No? Shortcut. Okay. But it's uh, it's just the same. No? Just erase this one here. Okay. So that will be unnecessary. No? Okay. So meters to millimeters. Go about going back to our table here. So we have 1,000 millimeter is to 1 meter. So millimeter, meter. The given is meter. We are required to convert that one to millimeter. So we have 1,000 millimeter is equal to 1 meter. Okay, then copy the given. No, copy the given. So we have 5.1 meter times that will be over meter for this one that is 1 in the remaining 1,000 millimeter. So we could now cancel our meters. So we'll end up with 5.1 times 1,000 all over 1 millimeter. Okay. So our answer will be 5.1 times 1,000. That is equal to 5,100 meters, no? Okay, so I was unable to show my calculator, but the answer is 5,100, no? Okay. So we have 5,100 millimeters. And this will be our answer. Okay, now we will proceed to converting English to metric system, uh, English units to metric units, and metric units to English units. So we have this equi equivalency here, equivalency here. No, so sorry for the um, somewhat um, murdered pronunciation. No, so we have here one inch is equal to two point four centimeter. Then one foot is equal to 30.48 centimeter, and one yard is equal to 91.44 centimeter. Okay, so we know how to convert no? the same process, the same process, the same procedure for the English and the metric system will be applied to the conversion of metric to English and English to metric units. Okay, so without much further ado, again, we will go to the example. No? First, we need to convert 4 yards to meters. Okay. So, solution. So, we need to convert 4 yards. So, going back to our factor here. So, we know that 1 yard is equal to 91.44 meters. Okay. So, we know that 1. So, 1 yard is equal to 91.44 centimeters okay okay then we know also from the english system of the english the metric system that 100 centimeter this one 100 centimeter is equal to one meter okay so we have 100 centimeter is equal to one meter what we are trying to accomplish now is to have our yards no, be converted into meters. So what we what we are going to do? So there is no a there there is no direct no uh, conversion or uh, equivalency e equivalency. No? Again, I murdered the pronunciation. Uh, there there is no uh, direct no direct relation for this one no yard to meters. But we are given with the English system, the inch, the foot, and the yard, and they're equivalent to centimeters. So what we're going to do is first to convert the given English into centimeter, and, the, and from the centimeter, we will convert that one to meters or to whatever metric units that we are required to convert to. Okay? So we'll just show that one in this example. Okay. Let's have here... Slide first the given no? four yards that we will multiply that one by a conversion factor in which the yard is below. So we have one 
yard. Then we have here 91.44 centimeter. Then we will multiply that one again. So because we have already canceled the yard, so what we are now left with centimeter. So the centimeter, we need to convert our centimeter into meter so that we could achieve the required the problem. Okay. So what, what we're going to do is to put the centimeter on the on the denominator so that we could cancel out the, these two here, these two units. Then we just write the 100 from this one, then the one meter. Okay, cancel out. So we are now left with meters. No? We are left with meters. So we have here 4 times 91.44 times 1. So we have 4 times 91.44 times 1 all over. So the number which are below. So we have 1 times 100. Then the left unit will be meters. Then you could input this directly into your calculator okay so maybe we just share again our calculator here okay so we have 4 times 91.44 okay so we have 4 times 91.44 then times 1 then that will be all over you know? this is 1 times 100 Okay, and you'll end up with 3.65, uh, 6.576, the unit for that is meter, okay? So we have, so we'll have now 3.5675 no? meters, let's just check, 3.6, so we, I have uh, rumble the 5 and 6 you know? so that will be 6 5 not 5 6 so this will be 6 5 then that will be 7 6 now this will be 6 meters no and this is now our answer okay next problem so convert 7 and 1 16 inches into centimeters so this is a symbol for inches no so the other symbol for inches we have the two apostrophes no or quotation no or quotation okay so let's have here our solution okay then Let's go back to our conversion. So we have a direct conversion from inch to centimeter. That is 1 inch is equal to 2.54. Okay, so we, we will not need to uh, have two conversion factors. So unlike the previous example, you have two conversion factors. So 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. No? So we need to copy now our uh, given. No? 7 and 1 16 inch. Uh, 7 and 116 inch that will be multiplied by 1 no no just first wrote here the inch below so that will be equal to 1 so we can now cancel out our inch this will be 2.54 so we will now have 7 and 116 inch times 2.54 all over 1 no? I forgot to put the centimeter here centimeter okay then we will go to our calculator okay so the calculator okay so maybe my calculator is not huh? so let's just fix here the calculator no? okay, calculator okay so we have our calculator so that will be a 7 and 116 no 7 Fraction 1 and fraction 16 that will be times 2 point that will be 2.54 divide 1 okay and we will have 17.94 okay so our answer will be 17.94 so 
3 round you need to round up 3 because 8 is the next digit to 3 no so we have 17.94 centimeters and this is your answer okay Okay, our last example for this discussion will be convert three and a half inches to millimeters. Okay, so solution. So again, for this one, we don't have a direct conversion from inches to, to millimeters. So we need to use two conversion factors. So that will be inches to centimeter and centimeter to millimeters. Okay, so going back here. So our one inch. Okay, so our one inch is equal to 2.4 centimeter this is will be 2.4 and our 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter okay so let's just copy the given no? three and a half inches no? times so we need to put the inches below so that will be equal to one the remaining weight will be 2.54 centimeter no so we will be cancel i uh, canceling out the inches then times this will be again centimeter below so that we can cancel out so from this relationship we have one centimeter then the above will be 10 millimeter okay so we will left with millimeter as our unit no because we are required to convert uh, two millimeter okay so we now have three and one half inch at uh, three and one half no 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 more inch because we already cancelled the inch times 254 times 10 all over one times one so let me rewrite that one here three and one half no because one times one below will just be equal to one no so no need to input that one the calculator 2.54 times 10 mm okay then we will now call upon the power of our calculator okay so we will have 3 and 1 half times 2.54 times Okay, and this will be equal to 88.9 so we will have 88.9 millimeters and this is now our answer okay so I believe that will be all for this video no so looks like I have not shown you the solution no? So maybe I will just um, have this one here. Okay, where is that one? Okay, so sorry for that one. So let's just go back, no? So that is 3 and 1 half times 2.54 times 10. Then the answer will be 88.9 millimeters. No? So I believe this, this was covered up by our video, no? So or by the, uh, by the screen of our calculator. Okay, so sorry for that one. But that... The answer for this one is 88.99 millimeters. You just input this one in the calculator as shown, no? Uh, as shown earlier, no? Okay? So, I believe that will be all for this discussion. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand something. If you have a question, you could comment down below in the comment section of this video. And as always, enjoy learning.